O God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, as always before, so now and evermore. Amen. Alleluia. O God of truth, O Lord of might, who order time and change aright, who clothe the splendid morning ray, and give the heat at noon of day. Extinguish now each sinful fire, and banish every ill desire. And while you keep our bodies whole, shed forth your peace upon our souls. Almighty Father, hear our cry. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord Most High, whom in the Spirit we adore, who reigns with you forevermore. Amen. Psalm 123. If the Lord had not been on our side, this is Israel's song. If the Lord had not been on our side when men rose against us, then would they have swallowed us alive when their anger was kindled. Then would the waters have engulfed us, the torrent gone over us. Over our head would have swept the raging waters. Blessed be the Lord who did not give us a prey to their teeth. Our life like a bird has escaped from the snare of the fowler. Indeed the snare has been broken and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as is and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 124 those who put their trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion that cannot be shaken, that stands forever. Jerusalem, the mountains surround her, so the Lord surrounds his people, both now and forever. For the scepter of the wicked shall not rest over the land of the just, for fear that the hands of the just should turn to evil. Do good, Lord, to those who are good, to the upright of heart. But the crooked and those who do evil, drive them away on Israel peace. Glory to the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as always before, so now and evermore. Amen. Psalm 125 When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, on our lips were the songs. The heathens themselves said, What marvels the Lord worked for them! What marvels the Lord worked for us! Indeed we were glad. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage, as streams in dry land, those who are sowing in tears, 
will sing when they reap. They go out, they go out full of tears, carrying seed for the sowing. They come back, they come back full of song, carrying their sheaves. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, as always before, so now and evermore. Amen. A reading from the 15th chapter of St. Paul's letter to the Corinthians. Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures. He was buried and in accordance with the scriptures rose on the third day. He was seen by Cephas, then by the twelve. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the power and the glory and the kingdom, for now and forever. Amen. Lord, may everything we do begin with your inspiration, continue with your help, and reach perfection under your guidance. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time to come together in prayer. We thank you for the spiritual pause you have offered us during this time of quarantine and isolation. We ask that you bring an end to this pandemic to bring your love, light, and healing to all those suffering from the coronavirus, all those in fear of the coronavirus. We ask that you bless our nation, bless our world, bless all of our doctors, nurses, caregivers, nursing home employees, and hospital employees. We ask that you bless and continue to protect all essential employees this time. God bless our families. God bless our church. We ask all this in the name of your only Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May God bless us all in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.